What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We're back again with another video. And today we're going to be talking about Chelsea, Liverpool, Arsenal. They're all intertwined, ladies and gentlemen. We're all going for similar players, similar transfer targets, but it's just all getting flipped around. So first thing you need to know. Today, we got to hear you go for Pedro Neto. Yes, Pedro Neto is headed to Chelsea, ladies and gentlemen. Pedro Neto is headed to Chelsea. I am a little shocked. First of all, I don't think Pedro Neto is a bad player. I think he's a really good player. I like Pedro Neto. And for Pedro Neto to agree to go to Chelsea, I'm quite shocked. First of all, 60 million, they, they're 60 million euros. They are pay, they're going to pay for 63, technically, million euros. They're going to be paying for Pedro Neto. That's a lot of money for a player who has such a bad injury record. I, I'm not surprised that Arsenal didn't sanction that transfer. But of course, Chelsea need quality. And Pedro Neto coming into their side is a quality, quality player and a quality addition to Chelsea Football Club. It's not only been reported by Fabrizio Romano, it's also been reported by David Onstein and many others. So this deal is done. Pedro Neto is now officially a Chelsea player. And this means who is now Arsenal going to go for? Pedro Neto's off the board. We already know Nico Williams is also off the board. Nico Williams, Nico Williams is, is, is going to be somebody who we were after, we were seriously interested in, but now it's a situation where even Barcelona and PSG know that he's not going to be headed anywhere. He's going to be staying at, 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 at Atletico Balbao. But on the positive note, some of our transfers are going through, uh, some of our transfers and potential outgoings are going through. So we're just going to have to be a little bit more patient with that. But while Fabrizio is talking about uh, the likes of what do you call it, Pedro Neto? He's also still saying Chelsea are seriously after, after signing um, uh, what's uh, Amoradian. Chelsea are still seriously after Victor Osimhen. Yes, so that's two potential Arsenal transfer targets that Chelsea could get over the line. Chelsea not only could get Vic, uh, Pedro Neto, they uh, which they pretty much already gotten done and wrapped up. Chelsea are still actively uh, looking for an offensive player in the market after Pedro Neto and uh, uh, Omeradian. Uh, Ozyman is to, uh, uh, sorry, Ozyman's plans to leave with no, uh, but no intentions to reduce the salary or accept a straight loan at this moment in time. Obviously, Chelsea are still keen in 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 the case in the case of Ozyman and their stance is of course that Napoli want Lukaku so I really do believe Lukaku will end up at Napoli and Victor Ozyman will somehow end up at Chelsea so it's now going to be a situation where Chelsea are going to have Pedro Neto and Victor Ozyman this transfer window plus all the hundred other players that they've signed already this window once again being one of the largest transfer sagas uh, Chelsea always end up somehow getting a bunch of players in. But Chelsea's potential transfer window could be crazy because at the end of the transfer window, they could have a situation where they have Pedro Neto, Victor Ozyman, Cole Palmer as their front three. That is a crazy front three. I think that's a really good front three, if you think about it. Just imagine. And and from all the reports and everything that we're hearing, Chelsea uh, are, are now trying to see if they can get a Victor Ozyman deal over the line. This is nuts. This is crazy. So Chelsea are now trying to find a way if they could possibly formulate the signing of Victor Ozyman. Ozyman is now 100% uh, waiting for Chelsea and it's possible uh, he'll be joining Chelsea. The plan is for Chelsea to remain under financial fair play and try to get him on loan with an option to buy uh, for the deal now. So Victor Ozyman could be the next one to head to Chelsea. This is crazy. We need to talk about this. But while we're talking about this, there's still more things happening also. There's still more happening also. You guys know how you guys know how we were after a certain Real Sociedad player in the past and we didn't end up getting him. Well, he's ending up at Liverpool. Yes, potentially Zuba Mendy could be headed to Liverpool as Liverpool are still waiting to push through the deal. Real Sociedad are actively talking to Zuba Mendy, trying to keep him at the club. So it is a situation where we associate that don't want to sell him. Um, Zubamendi does potentially want to go to Liverpool. 
But the only way they would do it is, of course, if they trigger the release clause. Real Sociedad also offered him a new deal. Try to convince him to stay. So this is a situation where Liverpool, Zubamendi might not end up joining Liverpool. But how does this affect Arsenal? How does Zubamendi's situation affect Arsenal? Well, let me tell you guys how Zubamendi's situation affects Arsenal. This, All of these things somehow affect Arsenal. Because Mikel Moreno has communicated his desires to join Arsenal and negotiations uh, are progressing with Arsenal. He's turned down a deal at Real Sociedad and he will be joining Arsenal. It's just a matter of, uh, of when, not uh, uh, and in the coming days, we will see. He, he's also not been chosen to go play for Real Sociedad in their game that they're going to be playing today. So this deal is getting closer and closer. The player is getting closer and closer to joining Arsenal. No panic stations over Mikel Moreno. You guys can chill. This deal will get done so that is great news right there with the Mikel Moreno situation while we're before we go into uh other things that we need to talk about well while we're here let's just discuss it Chelsea uh, have are looking to sign a, a forward option that we're looking at so are Tottenham Tottenham are looking to get Dominic Solanke now we are not at the top of the list He's not at the top of the list for the players that we want. So Dominic Solanke, if he does go to Tottenham, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. But he is somebody who we were linked to him in the January window, and we were partially linked to him at times during this window. So Dominic Solanke will most likely end up at Tottenham. And while we talk about Tottenham, Pedro Neto has just signed uh, for Chelsea potentially. So with that happening, that leaves Eze, who's another player Arsenal are interested in. Eze could now also end up at none other than Tottenham. So we need to wait and see what happens with those potential transfers and incomings, outgoings. What could happen with that situation? We need to monitor that situation quite slow and, and, be, and just keep an eye on it. There's another thing that we need to keep an eye on here. The thing that we need to keep an eye on here is none other than Kingsley Coleman. Bayern are now open to selling Kingsley Coleman and he could potentially exit on loan with a clause to buy. Some Arsenal fans are saying we should be all over this potential Kingsley Coleman transfer and think that he is a quality addition that could be brought into the Arsenal team. Let's wait and see if this is, a, if this is the guy that we end up going for and trying to get over the line. We'll have to wait and see if this is the guy that we end up going for. But one thing that could get this whole transfer saga sorted, can you please close the door? Uh, one thing that could get this whole transfer saga sorted is none other than, one second, let me see, let me show you guys, Eddie Nketiah's exit. Eddie, is in, Eddie Nketiah's exit is on the cards and could potentially happen and could kickstart all of these things. We heard earlier today that Arsenal are ready to accept a, tr uh, a potential loan with an obligation to buy of 30 million euros for Eddie and Ketia. Now they know Marseille are looking for a forward. They know Marseille have just been thrown back for the other forward that they were looking for in Wea over there in France. They were uh, they were told they need to pay a lot more than they were expecting. So Arsenal are now coming back and saying, "We know you guys are preparing a bid. We're willing to accept 30 million euros." And we already know that. Marseille submitted a 27 million euros offer previously, and there is reports that they are ready to submit a new offer, which was reported the other day. So we're going to have to wait and see. And if this happens, we got to give Edu a little bit of credit. Edu has been able to come in, swoop in, and say, you know what? Give me 35, 34 million for, uh, for Emil Smith Rowe, and give me 30 million euros for Eddie and Ketia. 60 million pounds for the two of them. I got to give Edu credit if he can get both of them done. But first, he needs to get it done. And if the and if the reports are true that Marseille have sent Arsenal a new bid for Eddie Nketiah, we should accept it immediately and get this deal done. That 30 million euros for Eddie Nketiah could help sanction the potential incoming of an Arsenal attacker. Arsenal are not done this transfer window. Mikel Moreno is going to come through. We're going to need to sign a striker or a forward, some sort of attacking option. Who that attacking option is at this moment in time, I don't know, but we need to get it done. Could it be Eze? We'll see. Could it be Victor Jokerez? We'll see. Could it be Victor Ozeman? Very unlikely. I think he's going to end up at Chelsea. We know Pedro Neto is now at Chelsea, and all of this is just the most latest 
Arsenal transfer news slash Chelsea slash Liverpool, if you want to count them all, because everybody somehow intertwined and even Tottenham sprinkle them into because they're linked. They're linked to Eze, who's another player we're interested in. All of this is just going to show you that it's going to be a crazy end to the transfer window. We're only currently in August 9th. We still have the end of the month for transfers to get done, and it's going to be a wild one. Ladies and gentlemen, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And I'll be back later tonight doing vibes from the six with the rest of the boys. I got the Chelsea fans, Man City fans, Arsenal, uh, Arsenal myself, of course, Tottenham, and more joining us later tonight to discuss all these transfers with the rivals. So get to get tuned in and let me know what you guys think. Personally, I'm kind of annoyed that Pedro Neto is going to Chelsea, but hey, it is the end of the, it's not the end of the world. We'll find another target. I'm out, people. Catch you guys in the next one.